This is something I've never experienced before here. But the changing air pressure from the wind blowing is actually causing the closet here in the hallway to open and close. And I'm not doing that with my hand. My hand is right here. You see the door is opening a little bit? And it makes a clunk when it opens and closes. And I hear this once in a while when the wind blows in the house and I've never been able to figure out what it is. But this time it actually just slammed shut. And I thought it was one of the ducks was up to something. But uh, hey, there it goes. Opening again. Here's my hand. I'm not doing that. And it'll suck it shut and it'll bang. Come on. Come on, wind. Sucky, sucky. There it is. It was actually banging a lot harder earlier. And it actually startled me. I jumped right out of my skin. I thought something hit the roof. It was so loud. I just heard a closet on the other end of the house doing the same thing. But that's really, really weird. I'm hoping to record a good one here. <laughs> the changing air pressure actually makes that happen. That's the weirdest thing. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm your host, The Duck Man. <laughs> and we're back today on October 10th of 2018. And this is Hurricane Michael Day. Hurricane Michael has not quite yet made landfall in Panama City. I'm right here in Pensacola, so I'm a little bit separated from that. Probably about, 100 and, about 120 miles or so to the west of where the storm is supposed to strike. So I'm actually in a pretty good position right here. Uh, outside, if you can see, it's not even raining. It's extremely cloudy, it's a little breezy, but it's not even hardly raining. Uh, we've actually turned out pretty lucky that we're on the very, very outside of the storm. So, in my previous updates, and it hasn't been a whole lot of them because there's really not much going on, uh, I did mention I was going to go down to have a look at the water. So we're going to go take a drive down to uh, Pensacola Bay and see just what the storm has done to the water. And what's happening right now is actually, you know, the storm spins in a counterclockwise fashion. It's actually probably backwards from what you're seeing me do on the camera there. But when you are to the west side of the storm as I am, that storm will push to the south, which means it's going to be pushing away from the shoreline. And what happens then is the water looks like an extremely low tide because all of it's pushed out to sea by the wind. So we're gonna go have a look at it and see what it looks like. And there's not a whole lot of cars on the road today. Very, very few of my friends are actually working today. Businesses are closed. I believe schools are closed. Public buildings are closed. I guess they did that on purpose because they didn't know if the storm's gonna flare up and get bigger or if it's gonna, you know, divert course. I mean, it could always, you know, go a different route slightly and it could affect a different region. But so far, I mean, that forecast has been dead on from where they say it was gonna hit. They said it was gonna be somewhere between Panama City and Apalachicola, and that's exactly where the thing is gonna strike. Probably a little closer to Panama City than Appalachia, but there's not that much distance between the two of them. So there's not that much of a, of a gap. Rather than ramble on, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Please pluck that little dingle belly down there next to the subscribe button, that way you get updates every time I upload a new video. And uh, you're gonna wanna see whatever else comes up because Something might happen, something might be interesting, but uh, this water video might be one of the better ones. We have to actually see if there's uh, any significant damage here on the road or what have you. So anyway, thanks for watching very much, and uh, we're going to roll that intro. Ooh. It's amazing, pulling onto the interstate this time of day, there's usually you know, a hundred cars as you can see, and it's a little tough sometimes to merge, but not at all the case today. I'm actually even doing, well, a hair over the speed limit, but uh, usually it's tough to get up to speed because everybody's always driving slower than what they're supposed to be. They recently upgraded the speed limit on this road over here. It used to be uh, 55 and it changed to 65, and I think some people didn't get the memo. They're not paying attention to the signs. Not too many cars on the road. started the camera a little late through downtown Pensacola here, but I'm seeing a lot of sandbags in front of the doors. I guess they're trying to keep out floodwaters because this does flood up sometimes and uh, down towards the bottom end of it, the seawater will actually come up too also. Now I haven't ever seen a, a 12 foot storm, storm surge or something like happen during Hurricane Ivan, but um, in fact I don't think Ivan hit downtown directly. I think it went off a little bit more to the, to the east. 
So the 12 foot storm surge didn't really happen here, but I have been down this street before during Hurricane Dennis, I believe it was. And right about here, there was seawater in the street. And it was pretty bad, it was pretty significant. When I drove through it, it was making foam. That's how I knew it was salty seawater, not street water. Ah, Dennis was a long time ago. That was back in uh, 2005. It was when I had first moved to Pensacola. And after having lived in Florida then for uh, over 10 years, it was the first hurricane I had ever seen. And I used to live on the other end of the state, you know, the part that sticks out. It's really easy to get hit by hurricanes, yet we didn't get any. Everybody's all got these uh, sandbags in front of their doors. I guess the city provided those. I don't know how much water it'll actually keep out of the building, but I guess it helps to slow it down. Well, we're out on Palafox Pier, and as you can see, the wind is blowing away from the shore. Looking at the waves and the ripples going that way to the south. Likewise with the clouds, everything is blowing to the south. Water is low. Not too terribly unusually low, but it is low. But i uh, got a bunch of people down here at the park, running around feeding the animals. The sun is trying to come out. In fact, way out in the horizon there, I see a little bit of blue sky. But that's the direction where the storm terminates over there, just to the west of us. Still might get a little bit more, but I got a feeling that the storm is moving away from us at this point. It's going to hit Panama City because it's round. We're going to get the opposite side of it as it disappears. So, when I get home, I think I can probably, if I want to, push my car out of the garage and get Eleanor worked on a little bit today. Let's see how that works out. <laughs> well, we're over here at Pensacola's Graffiti Bridge, and this is the place where you could actually walk right up or even drive up to the water. And it, uh, it's actually a little high. I expect it to be a little low because the wind is blowing away. But now that I'm getting a good look at it, no, it's actually up a little high. There's a drain over there that's underneath the water. But usually the water is just a little bit beyond the ramp here on a typical day. And you can see the grassy area over there. The grass is actually sticking out of the water. It normally sticks up out of the dirt. Now when I came here after Hurricane Dennis, um, those little caps on that dock right there the little white caps were the only thing that was stuck in out of the water. The water was up very, very high. And behind me is the graffiti bridge. We got a lady standing in front of me there because I really wanted to show you what's on it. And hey, look at that. It go rain! <laughs> so there we are. The graffiti bridge. Well, yeah, I think that just might be it for today. Now, underneath the graffiti bridge here is actually Pensacola's lowest point. You're actually below sea level when you're under here. As we demonstrated during Hurricane Gordon, that place uh, fills up with water. But there was no serious waves or anything this time. The waves, or the wind is actually blowing in the opposite direction away from the coast, so we didn't get the... Uh, we didn't get any waves pushing the water up and over the parking lot and into the uh, tunnel. So I think that's going to be the last of my updates on Hurricane Michael. There's just not a whole lot going on with this storm here in Pensacola. We actually got out pretty lucky. I believe Panama City is, is, is 2 o'clock right now, is uh, just getting hit with the eye wall right at this point. I'll have to check the, uh, the weather. But I'm pretty certain that right now they're getting hit, and they're getting hit with maybe even Category 5 winds. And I was looking at the Saffir Simpson scale, and uh, it's not metric, by the way, you guys. And that's been a very common conversation on my other YouTube channel, Duckman Cycles VW Garage, this past week. Metric versus Imperial. But the Saffir Simpson scale is actually done in, in miles per hour, and it's, it's a, stepping, a stepping format. So the numbers are not even, and they're broken kind of oddly. So they're not made in the metric system at all. Sorry, you guys. Saffir Simpson scale is not metric. <laughs> so anyway, we're headed home. There's not a whole lot going on here, but, but if anything significant happens, I will have another update. But if not, this will be all. So I'm signing off for the moment. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Pluck the little dingle belly down there next to the subscribe button for updates. That way you get an update every time I upload a new video. So if I do put another one out, because all hell breaks loose for some reason, 
if you push that button and you ding the little bell, you'll get that update. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.